this video will demonstrate how to create the modal analysis pro mechanica modal analysis basically means determining the natural frequency of vibration of any body in this case the example is the spring or a helix which is extracted for four different mode frequencies or four different natural frequencies mode shape 1 mode shape 2 mode shape 3 and mode shape 4 these all mode shapes are animated for their behavior let us proceed with how to create the modal analysis using pro mechanica close the existing windows do you want to close it yes don't save it anywhere cancel this window close the window file close file array is not display pick on new file creation ensure that the new file creation window is now open pick on the part design use the default template as cancelled enter the name of the file as spring pick on ok select the unit under the file new file option that is millimeter newton second part solid select ok now there are three default datum planes pick on insert helical sweep protrusion select under the menu manager as a constant pitch helix and the helix to be right handed pick on done select the plane as front plane ok default Draw the center line about which the helix has to be created. This is the vertical center line about which the helix will be created. Draw the profile trajectory or the swept profile of height 200 millimeters and mean radius of the helix to be 50. Now the height of the helix and the mean radius of the spring is defined. Pick on done. It is asking enter the pitch value. Enter the pitch value as 20 itself. Press enter or say done here. Now draw the section at the intersection of vertical and horizontal line. The section to be circular. Enter the diameter of circle as 10. Pick on done. See preview. The helix is now created. Pick on OK. Pick on the default orientation. Now proceed for the analysis. Switch off the datum planes, datum axis, datum points and datum coordinate system. Pick on applications. Pick on mechanica which is pro mechanica. Under the unit confirmation window 
ensure the length in millimeters, mass in tons, force in newton, time in seconds, and temperature in degree centigrade. Use continue. Under the Mechanica model setup, use structural analysis and the default interface is bonded. It is important to note that FEM mode is unchecked. Pick on OK. The first and the foremost thing for the model analysis is density of the material. For that, define a new material. This icon represents defining the material. Pick on that. It is asking to select the materials under materials window. Use steel. Pick on add. Select OK. Once the material is added, the material need to be assigned for this body. Pick on assign material. Under the material assignment window, use components. By default, spring part, that is spring part, is included and the material defined also is been selected. Pick on OK. The material is now defined. The material is now assigned. Now it is the time to define the boundary condition or the constraint. Pick on the constraint. Under the constraint definition, use surface as a reference. Zoom this area. Pick on this face. Surface is selected. Constraint all translations. Constraint all rotations. And pick on OK. Once the rotation and translation is fixed, you can find a small minute triangles which represents the dx, dy, dz, rx, ry, rz as zero which represents the displacement or the translation and the rotation of this particular surface is now fixed. Now pick on defining the size for the mesh use control pick on controls under the auto geometry control select the maximum element size and enter the maximum element size as 5 under references select components Automatically, the spring part or the spring component is added. Pick on OK. Auto geometry control is now defined. Now pick on the mesh creation. Use with all material properties. Mesh need to be created. It is detecting the mesh or it is creating the elements for the existing volume with the defined material properties. Once the meshing definition is complete, it will give an information regarding the number of beam elements present, trias present, quadrilaterals and tetras. In this case, apart from tetras, there are no elements. Pick on close and close the diagnostic window. Save the mesh. Close this window. There is no need to define the load because we are doing the modal analysis. Pick on the design studies. Under the Design Studies window, pick on File, New, Model Analysis. 
under the modal analysis enter the number of modes to be 4 this can be varied to any value observe that this modal analysis is a constrained modal analysis because a constraint is defined analysis name is 1 pick on the output we are looking for the reactions and the rotations pick on convergence it is a single pass adaptive pick on ok to run the model analysis use the green flag do you want to delete the existing files pick on yes do you want to run the diagnostic or the interactive diagnostic yes the design study has started in the output window you can observe it is running this analysis will take few minutes to complete once the analysis is completed you can find the message the run is completed you can observe the analysis diagnostics these are the simulation diagnostics pick on close and close the output window it is the time to plot the mode shapes pick on the result window here now under the result definition it is asking the results will be plotted for the analysis 1 and the mode 1 that is 9.36 hertz will be plotted it is going to show the displacement and the component is the magnitude under display locations use all under display options use the deformed shape and animate it pick on ok and show which should have the continuous tone of colors this is the first mode shape of the spring and its natural frequency is 9.35 Hertz which is present over here now format the background to white color format the result window to a background color of white pick on ok plot the next mode shape for that we need to save the existing mode shape pick on file save as enter the name of the file as 01 now pick on the result window edit use the mode shape 2 and cancel the mode shape 1 pick on ok and show this display of the mode shape is the second mode shape pick on file save as enter the name of this as 02 enter now pick on the edit result window again pick cancel the mode shape 2 and pick on the mode shape 3 pick on ok and show the displayed mode shape is the third mode shape save this mode shape as file save as enter the name as 03 similarly enter into the result window cancel the result window 3 and check the result window 4 pick on ok and show 
this is the result window 4 or this is the fourth mode shape pick on file save as this mode shape or the result window as 4 now it is the time to plot all the mode shapes in a different windows pick on insert result window from file insert the third mode shape ok now pick on insert result window from file pick on the second mode shape Now it is the time to plot the third mode shape. Pick on insert result window from file. This is the way all the four results can be plotted. He can observe in the animation all the behavior are different. You can observe what is the natural frequency of vibration in each mode. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please visit my channel which will give an overview or the understanding of working with Pro Mechanica.